Hey there, Jerry Shepard, the Bug Doctor with PestCemetery.com. Just a quick tip today on dusters. I love dusting. I hope you do a lot of dusting. It's a very valuable tool, a way to get in and access some of the voids that the pests use, ants, roaches, earwigs, you name it. And the powder, the dust, lasts for months. So if you're not using dusts, consider using that in your arsenal, in your uh, weaponry, so to speak, for pest control. But there's one thing that I know uh, keeps people shied away from dust a little bit, and that's just the applicator itself. It's designed great. It can get into uh, the nice uh, small areas. Not too small. It's got to be thick enough where the powder doesn't clog up, so you have a limitation there. But it's this cap. For years, the uh, dusters came with no cap at all, so I'm glad that at least they, they have a cap. But this one has a couple of flaws, and it may be one reason a lot of these dusters sit on the shelf and don't get used. First off is just this little strap so you don't lose the cap. That thing gets in the way whenever you're trying to dust a void or, or whatever up under a sink or anything, and it just constantly keeps this cap in your way when you're trying to uh, maneuver around. Well, eh, that's a small inconvenience. Uh, losing the cap is a bummer. I always keep my uh, dusters in my... Uh, holster like this. There's really no holster that I know of made specifically for it. So I got my aerosol and I keep it right there. The problem with that is all the dust gets kind of packed down after a job or two into the barrel and then gets stuck right up here next to the cap. So bada bing you open that thing up and a bunch of dust is going to fall on the floor. That's not good uh, especially on a rug or something where it doesn't clean up very easily. So what I do before each time I dust is tap it. Now, that won't, you can tap for a long time and it, just that powder gets up there and kind of cakes up there and it's tough to do. So, as you're spinning this thing off, kind of rotate it around to keep that powder in the cap itself. Now, another reason I don't like this uh, attachment here is because when you let go of it, and eventually you have to, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but there we go, I've got a bunch of dust on the floor because this thing flinged up and almost like a catapult shot dust out and it's on my fingers and as I'm shaking it's going down on the floor so by the time I get from here to my void up underneath the sink or wherever I'm dusting I'm usually leaving a trail of dust and that's not good so this cap is wonderful does a good job I, I like the idea but someone needs to come up with something a little bit better what I do normally is cut that cap off and then I'll go and get um, a removable cap somewhere. I could even cut that, that one off the, the strap and just use that one but it tends to be loose. If you look in your closet you'll find these in great abundance. This is just a little uh, oh, vinyl nub at the end of that white wire rack uh, shelving that you have in your closet right on the end so it doesn't scratch a wall. Once your shelf is up it's not going to scratch the wall and it's unlikely you're going to uh, scratch yourself reaching for a pair of shoes or a shirt or something uh, if you pick the right one. But you can just take those little uh, pieces of rubber off, the little tips off of that and put it onto your duster. The nice thing about it, it's a little small so it fits real tight. Um, and this one's been with me a long time. The only bummer is, is if I just set it down and forget it and walk away, I've lost it because it's not attached. Still, I'll live with that. So for me to clear this, tap it, spin it around about midway, duster goes up and the cap. Now, if I do have dust in here, I can set it up under the sink on its side where it's not going to spill out. I can find a trash can and just kind of oh, roll it like I'm cleaning the uh, nicotine out of a cigarette or the, the uh, tobacco out of a cigarette. How they do that, field strip it and just put it right into the uh, trash can. Then I go off and do my dusting and my happy stuff. Got my cap, put it right back on. No matter what you do in this business, you're gonna have some on your fingers, maybe a little bit on the, on the ground somewhere if you get a little sloppy, but it's way better than not having a cap at all. And then this is also better than having the attached cap. And uh, I keep these with me uh, in my truck in uh, the glove department. I've got about four or five extras in case I lose one. And it just saves me from looking like a mess, makes me look more professional, 
and uh, it's just safer all around for you and for your clients. Hey, this has been Jerry Schapper with a little tech tip for you on dusters. Get out there, do some dusting. Thanks so much for enjoying my blog. See ya.